All right, here we're going to look at some um, graphs of exponential functions. And mostly what we're going to look at is um, translations and reflections. So what we're going to look at is um, to sketch two graphs, y equals 2 to the x and y equals 2 to the x plus 1. So the thing is that I, what I really think is good is to be able to sketch the, the exponential um, function y equals 2 to the x roughly, rather quickly. Of course, plotting points is not a bad idea at all. I mean, but, but when you plot points, do, do, you don't always have to, um, you know, make a chart. You can just, you know, sort of do these things in your head. Um, maybe not for everyone, but still, 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the half is 1 half, 2 to the minus 1 is, is 1 fourth. So you can get something pretty good there. What is this plus 1 going to do is this is going to be a, a shift up. So um, what would I say that we're really looking at? We're looking at the general shape. It's not a line. It has a curve to it. And it has, yeah, so as you can see what the curve is. There's a horizontal asymptote. I'm going to write that down. Horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis. It's increasing. And also, I, I labeled here the, the y-intercept. I think that's important. When you add 1, everything shifts up by 1. In particular, what we want to make, um, we want to label carefully, or I don't know if carefully, but you know, clearly, so that it's clear to everyone, there's a horizontal asymptote. The intercept also moves up by 1. So everything just moves up by 1 when you add 1 to a function. Beyond that, we want to get the horizontal asymptote, we want to get the fact that it's increasing, and we want to see that exponential growth shape. I, I think uh, sometimes I say, well, I'll just get the general shape and don't spend too much time, but on the other hand, you want to get something that looks a little bit like it. So sometimes when I say, well, you don't have to be all that careful, then I see some people doing things that are really off the mark. Okay, um, but I think that's... Oh, okay, so, so I label these things horizontal asymptote in the y-intercept right there. So um, I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, um, oops, what did I do there? I don't know whether I'm going to write these things down necessarily each time because I, I show them on the curve. Okay, so let's do... Um, this y equals 2 to the minus x and y equals 2 to the minus x minus 1. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using base 2. If you sketch y equals 3 to the x, it looks a lot like y equals 2 to the x, like really a lot like it. It's What is it going to have in common for y equals 3 to the x? Still, 2 to the 0 power is 1 and 3 to the 0 power is 1. It's still going to be increasing. I'll have the same asymptotes. So I a lot of times do y equals 2 to the x. It's a, it's a nice function. It doubles. There's a reason, sort of, uh, this is a really good one for plotting points. However, in, in most situations, we don't use base 2, and I will talk about that later. We we'll use a different number, e. But uh, for just plotting points, 2 is very convenient. And another good one you might have is 10. But this, this, the shape is going to be the same, and you have the same intercept and the same asymptotes. Now here, this is base 2, but it's negative x. And, uh, so what is that negative x going to do? That's going to give us something that's exponential decaying. And what you can do is you can, um, you know, you can plot points. But uh, also, it's, a, it's a, you know, quite a bit of memorization. Okay, so what happens when we subtract 1? This is a shift down by 1. And what I think we really should focus on 
is labeling the horizontal asymptote. And what else do we want to do? We want to label the, the um, y-intercept. Those are very important. And then we want to focus on the shape of this uh, curve. Okay, so adding one will adding one will shift a graph up by one. Subtracting one will shift a graph down by one. Here we have two to the x increasing exponential growth shifted up by one, and then I just decided, oh, let's pick out two to the minus x. And then I did an example where it's shifted down by one.